everyone. Uh, my name is Gio Ilagan. I'm a fourth year medical student here in, of course, the Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health. And today I will be showing you around school. So expect this campus tour to be very, very comprehensive because I'll be going through all the floors. I'll be going to all the rooms that I'm allowed to enter. And yes, that actually includes the anatomy lab. So stay tuned for that. And of course, throughout the whole tour, I will also be sharing my personal experience. So before anything else, I'd like to introduce myself a little bit more. I graduated BS Psychology from Ateneo de Manila University there in Katipunan back in 2017. I also have a YouTube channel. So in that YouTube channel, I make videos about med school life. So maybe you'd want to check that out at Leo Ilagan as well. I'm also joined today by a special friend and co-host. He's also my batchmate, Mr. Ajanik Dao. Hello, Hello Aja. Good to see you again after how many months? I no? know. So hi guys. As Gio said, I'm Ajanik Dao. Um, I graduated with a pre-med degree of BS Biology from the University of the Philippines, Manila. And as Gio said, we're batchmates and currently for here medical students here at the Ateneo School of Medicine. Our cameraman today, by the way, is Gabby Lokban, also our batchmate and also our friend. And special shout out to Batch 2020, guys. Congratulations for passing the boards nga pala. That's like a week, a week and a half ago lang. So very, very fresh. So enough about us. Let's talk about school. So quick facts lang. ASMPH is actually located here in Ortigas Avenue in Pasig City. And it's located specifically right beside, kind of behind our base hospital, which is the Medical City. And with that, I guess we can start the tour. All right. So here behind us is the facade where a lot of people, you know, take pictures with their uniforms in the first day of class. So let's head towards the main drop-off point. Okay. Feels weird to be walking this path, no? It really feels it's weird. It's been such a long time <laughs> for both of us. And we have arrived at the main drop off point, aka the main entrance of school. So uh, there's this really special plaque that we actually want to show you guys. Okay, so this plaque basically just says that the school was founded on November 23, 2007, and that this area where the school currently stands. It's a piece of land that was donated by the Mirago Company. So as you'll see later in the tour, we're actually adjacent to the Mirago Company. Let's enter into the, the lobby. So these are the ASMPH's main doors. And right away, you will be greeted by the lobby guard. Kuya Jeffrey. <laughs> Hello, oh. good morning. This is called the Ching Tan Lobby. And this on the right is the Chung Te Auditorium. Again, Ching Tan Lobby, Chung Te Auditorium. This is the only auditorium of ASMPH with theater seats. Um, it's also the second year classroom. Yeah. And then here in our lobby also, we have our trophy cabinet, which has a lot of uh, trophies that are not actually all related to academics. So this is from a sporting event sponsored by the Association of Philippine Medical Colleges, which is um, the Ateneo School of Medicine is part of. So this is a sports competition, this is a choral competition, and a dance competition. So it just shows that the Ateneo School of Medicine is not just all about medical learning, but also exactly. building everyone as a whole. Yes. So don't think that if you go to med school, um, your social life, your sports life, your talent life will go away. Because here in ASFPH, uh, we've actually experienced that they actually nurture uh, those parts of uh, our beings as well. And now let's enter <laughs> the Chungte Auditorium. Welcome to Chungte Auditorium. Suddenly became so much more quiet now. First thing we have to do when you enter this classroom is biometrics. <laughs> so we have a biometric scanner pero walang uh, hindi siya naka-on ngayon. So emulate na lang. Tutut. And so access granted. Diba? You always have to sign in whenever you uh, enter, the enter the classroom. And also when you when you leave at when the end of leave. the day. Because uh, that's yeah. how they count your attendance. Yeah. Yeah. So every classroom has that. Every big classroom at least. That's right. So, what's so special about the Chungte Auditorium? So, as Gia said, this is the classroom for the second year medical students or yung YL6, which is uh, that's what we call the second year medical students here in the Ateneo School of Medicine. So, what's so special about this room? 
are these seats. So these seats are plush, so they're movie theater style seats. So they're super comfortable talaga when you're listening to lectures the entire day. And you also have your table here and another here. Another table here. So this is where you can put all your stuff. Ayan. So it's very, very comfortable talaga. And it makes listening to lectures the entire day a bit more manageable. So as Gio is demonstrating right now. It's it's super comfortable, guys. You got theater seats and you have... Uh, I'll show you. This is actually my seat. My very seat back when I was in uh, second year med, while 6. So what I used to do was... Uh, Ito, bababa ako dito. Dito nakalagay yung laptop ko. Tapos, if ever I need to write down notes, diba? take down notes, I can put um, paper and pen or my uh, iPad here. So, Gio, what was your favorite memory here in this Chungte classroom? Okay, so we spent one whole year in this classroom. And I think my favorite memory in this classroom was when we uh, surprised uh, Ma'am Cell, our um, year-level admin assistant and it was valentine's day kasi during that time so um the lights were off tapos uh, romantic music was playing tapos lahat ng phone lights namin nakailaw tapos winawave namin sa, sa, sa air tapos pumasok siya tapos super touched siya kasi parang she didn't expect na magkakaroon ng uh, surprise for valentine's day for her I guess that ends our tour for this specific classroom but we have so many other things to show you guys so Continue watching this video. Here is what I'd like to call the banner hallway, aka the main hallway of school. As you guys can see, parang nandiyan lahat ng mga banners ng mga batches all the way from 2012 to 2025. So if any 2025 is watching right now, your banner's up here, guys. We have uh, the admin the admin offices here. So we have the cashier where you can pay for your, uh, your stuff. Tuition payments, car stickers, anything. Uh, the admin, where the important people stay, <laughs> aka yeah. the dean. <laughs> and then on this side is the faculty room, the man, where the other important people stay. So, how about I actually pumas of Yeah, and then we also have here our submissions cabinet, which for some professors, because if you have papers or you have cases that you have to submit, you can just put them here, so it's, lab it's labeled by year level, and you can just pass your stuff here. So that's not all we have here in the first floor, we have a few more offices. But most important for everyone who's planning to enter the Atelier School of Medicine is this window right here, the admissions office window. And see Sir Jed. Hi, Tara Sir Jed. Hi, Sir Jed. This is the window where you pass your admission requirements. This is very important for all the incoming one. Now we have our last office here in the first floor, which is the accounting office. So when you enroll in the regular semester, this is where you have to pay all your stuff. You get it validated, and then you go to the cashier to do the actual payment. Yeah. Behind the accounting office is the elevator, which goes up all the way until the fourth floor. And beside that is the rear staircase, which can also go all the way up, up to the fifth floor. Um, this big passageway goes to the faculty parking. And I uh, just want to show you guys uh, that we also have restrooms, by the way. It is a first floor. And all floors actually have restrooms. They all look the same. So we'll probably enter one of the other floors' restrooms later. Photocopying area. Ano ba mafi na photocopy mo dyan, Aja? Siyempre, you have to photocopy yung mga readings from the library. Since we can't take the books out of the library, so we can't take them home. Mahalang books, guys. So that's why they're so strict with it. Okay, now we're gonna go to the cafeteria. But before the cafeteria is actually this uh, receiving area here at the back, uh, the posterior receiving area of the school. The posterior receiving <laughs> area. <laughs> just of the trying school. to use anatomy terms. Um, ito, parking lot, part of the parking lot, as you guys can see. And now we enter the cafeteria. Okay, so this is our cafeteria where we have a few food stalls here where you can get your lunch. And so right here we have uh, Cafe Dad, which is our coffee area. And then we have here Zika. So this is the main uh, session area. Back before the pandemic, this was all uh, put together so you can sit with your group mates and your friends during lunch time or break time. We actually have a, a cafeteria extension 
This is the cafeteria extension and the infirmary is also there. But this area kasi is parang closed off for now, so we can't really go there. But it's nice to know that we actually have an infirmary and a huge hospital in front of school. So yeah, that's the cafeteria. And I think that completes our tour of the first floor. So now we're gonna go back to the lobby, climb the stairs, so we can go to the second floor. So Gio, are you a stairs person or an elevator person? <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Uh, because when I was in the first year med school, I made a promise to myself to always, always use the stairs going up to the fifth floor. Uh, and if I were to use the elevator, but I'd only use it uh, once a day. So I do, I do that because, you know, for your cardiac health. And alam mo naman sa med school, palagi tayo nakukupo, di ba? So that was my challenge in uh, first year med. Things changed after that. <laughs> so here we have the MBH classroom, which is one of the bigger classrooms here in the school. And then we also have, here in this hallway, what do we have here? The MPL labs. So MPL means multi-purpose labs, and we actually have five of those. So I'll just go here real quick. There are four small ones and one big one all the way in Sadulo. So we have uh, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, and the big one is 2E. Uh, we'll enter those later because those contain um, but a different setups, especially for online classes nowadays. Uh, pathology specimens, microbiology specimens gross and uh, histological uh, specimens. But for now, we're gonna enter MPH, which is the third year uh, students' classroom. Yeah, pass na tayo. Toot toot! Really that fast? <laughs> so that's usually how the school takes our attendance here. In every classroom, merong biometric scanner. Uh oh. So this is, again, MPH, multi-purpose hall. And it has three screens and one um, and, one 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 dito, and one Panteti. So Panteti is actually our batch mascot. I think 2021, 2020, and kami, uh, we all have our own individual inflatables from batch 2019. And we've had it since we were in first year. Yes. And so you guys can see uh, behind us, we have, I think, 174 chairs, uh, if we're not mistaken. Also, if you mo lahat ng chairs na to, this is actually the the rehearsal studio of AMDG, aka Ateneo Med Dance Group. So, because it gets converted into a dance studio after school hours, they actually set up the mirrors. So, at least now the dance group can see themselves diba, while they're practicing. Another mirror here. Yeah, just to show you guys. Yeah. It's my secret. <laughs> Good. Ang tagal na yung hinahanap to. Yeah, so this morning when we went to school, I was actually looking for this since I left it pre pandemic. It's a tight fit, kinda up here, but it's it's nice because you know you're all close to each other. Uh, you can share your notes. If you don't understand the lecture, it's so easy to ask another person some questions, diba? And actually, bakit mo ba kailangan ng ganyan? So, me and a lot of other people actually, we bought. Seat cushions for our seats since that's what we'll be doing naman most of the day. We'll be sitting and listening in class. Yeah. But listening you, in class, do you? But you know the nice things about these seats is that they actually keep you awake. So you're more attentive in the lectures as compared to the second year med classroom. Anyway, time to visit the multipurpose labs. Again, MPL2C, multipurpose lab 2C. And uh, this room, as of this moment, is... Uh, patient encounter setup. Yeah, so as Gia said, this is a multi-purpose lab. Emphasis on multi-purpose. So here in the labs, we the shelf, the for our laboratory, such as a microscopy, but it can also be set up for more practical uh, use, such as the patient encounters. Matter. It's when the school actually invites patients from outside to come visit. The med students are the ones who will uh, check them up and practice their physical exam skills, history taking skills on those patients. But aside from that, guys, what I just said, because these are multi purpose labs, all of those um, cabinets actually house microscopes in them. It just so happened that for today, this is a patient encounter setup. You know, on a normal day, this can also be used for microscopy. 
go to let's go to the other room. So ito naman MPL 2A. Yan. So parang mirror image siya, di ba Aja? Mm -hmm. Mirror image siya ng MPL 2C. And here you can see all the microscopes. So Aja, take it away. Okay, so the arrangement for the laboratories for histology um, it's actually by surname, so alphabetical siya. And then, as you mentioned, we have a few labs here on the second floor and a big lab at the end. So how that works is merong connection between the big labs and the small labs. So the preceptor is usually in the big lab teaching. And then through the projector screen here, uh, we, all, we can listen to the lecture also. Yeah. Or even more than just lecture, they can actually project whatever is uh, being shown in the big room. So they have a video cam there. And then there's this like special wiring or something that makes it possible for all the labs to project the same thing. And so dito, even if para naka isolate yung mga students small labs, uh, they can still see what the big lab is uh, showing. But ang daming microscopes <laughs> because because here in Ateneo, there's a one is to one ratio of microscopes per student. One is to one ratio microscopes. And here, also on the second floor, we have the ASMP Center for Research and Innovation, or yung Taki Center. So this is where ASMPH does a lot of researches and studies with different uh, partner organizations as well. So if you guys are budding researchers or you have an interest in performing research, um, the ASMPH has a research center just for that. Okay, so the next is MPL 2B. So ito ngayon, Again, parang mirror image lang siya ng ibang uh, ng MPL 2A sa ng MPL 2C. So the second year medical students, of course, are doing online classes now, and uh, what they're doing is, I think, a preceptor sits here, uh, tas na zoom ka, na zoom call, and then because of the ring light, of course, nice lighting, you know, they'll be able to present the pathological specimens here. So these are gross specimens. So here's a uterus. Here is a, ano ba to? It's a heart with with ASD, RVH, LVH. So when you get to med school, you, you will know what those uh, letters mean. And lastly, we will be going to MPL 2D. So this room is actually super interesting to us since it has this very unique five head microscope. So right now, uh, it's, the setup is for online learning, for the, especially for the Y5 and the Y6 students, right, Jay? So, ito, may nakikita ako dito, pero hindi ko na maalala. <laughs> Ikaw, no, Adjo, naalala mo pa ba? Uh, I feel like it's a body tissue. Ano ba nakalagay dyan? Wala. Wala Walang labels. Wala <laughs> Walang labels. Okay, okay lang. Lastly, we're gonna go to MPL 2 week, which is basically a big version of this. Again, posterior receiving area of the second floor. The restrooms over there, lockers over there, yeah. and MPL 2 e Oh, yes. That's actually. We actually didn't do it. And we are in MPL 2 e and you can see rows upon rows upon rows upon rows of tables. This is the biggest lab, nga naman. Uh, we can't show you what's behind the camera because it's being used currently as a storage space for PPEs but there are actually one, two, two more two more uh, rows extending to the back but what we can show you are more pathological specimens so these are abnormal versions of our organs so that's important for us as future doctors that we know how to recognize these abnormal organs because first year is everything normal about the human body uh, second year is everything abnormal about the human body. Um, and that perfectly segues into the next floor, diba? Actually. Which will find yung other labs natin for the first year medical students naman who studies yung normal natin histology. Yes. But before we leave uh, this room, I just want to ask Aja, what was your favorite activity, your most favorite activity that had to do, of course, with the labs? Okay, blood extraction, okay. Uh, no, my favorite uh, no, was no. actually the micro... Since I graduated from BS Biology, my favorite was actually all the microbiology stuff where we had to do like gram staining, we had to culture plates, 
And for me, as well, I really missed all those activities from pre-med. So getting to do them here in Ateneo was really a new experience for me, especially we have all these equipment, which made the experiments much easier than when we had to do it in undergrad. So unlike Aja, actually first time ko mag gram stain dito, first time ko mag culture dito. So yung mga advantage na mga you know microbiology undergrad students is marunong na silang may mga techniques na sila. Kasi kami well, first time namin, wala wala pa kami alam. Um, my favorite naman memory of that lab specifically was uh, when we did blood extraction. So we, we didn't learn any blood extraction back in first year med because we learned it in second year med. I'm not sure about the other med schools, but for us, second year med namin na learn yung blood extraction. So it's called phlebotomy. Um, I did it on my friend Mikey there in that room. Uh, I think I'll insert footage somewhere here. Sharpshooter ka, Mikey. No! Sobrang hindi. Your sharpshooter just means that you're very good at extracting blood. Yeah. And that ends our second floor tour. Now, head up to the third floor. See you guys up there. So this is the third floor landing. And what are the special rooms here, Aja? So here in the third floor, we have our MBA small rooms. And then we also have MPLs or multi-purpose laboratories down this hallway and at the end of this hallway we have a very special surprise for you guys and the third floor is actually probably I would say the most quiet floor in the whole building because um, it's not every day that there are classes here MBA classes actually usually once a week lang siya. yeah once so a week that's lang. why this floor remains relatively quiet so now we're gonna enter uh, room 301 and 302 uh, this mirror image is 303, 304, but we won't enter these. Just imagine that these are just mirror images of each other. So here we have room 301. So as you can see, it's a smaller classroom than the previous classrooms that we've had, the Chungte and also the MPH. And then what's unique about this room naman is the MBA sections naman kasi are here. So MBA sections, you're not, unlike your regular classes, they're separated into smaller sections. Talaga. So, for example, me and my classmates will be here and then we will have one lecture and then in the other room is a different set of um, people and also a different lecture. So, but if we have exams or um, we have meetings or something that this room is going to be used for, there's a connector right here which leads into the other room. Yeah, so if you want the classroom to be bigger, you can actually move these so that you can fit more people. So like what I just said, I think exams, right? Yeah, during exams. During exams, because during exams, you one seat apart. So in those instances, um, of course, we can't all fit in one classroom because it's one seat apart. So they have to separate the batch into maybe two or maybe three uh, different classrooms. And this is one of them. I guess that ends our tour of the MBA classrooms. This isn't actually everything, so this is just one two, three, four. There are other MBA classrooms upstairs or rooms that can be used as MBA classrooms but we'll go to those later. And oh nga pala, this hallway is so memorable. Itong hallway na yan. Because this is my first um, recollection of uh, the ASMPH interview experience. Because back in our time, medyo iba na ngayon. But the experience that we had was uh, interview pa yun na one on one, or sometimes even two on one or three on one. So for me, three doctors interviewed me. Did you have it different. there also in those rooms? No, I think I had it uh, sa baba, in, the, uh, no, in one of the smaller labs. So, yeah. Speaking of labs, let's enter one right now. So this looks kind of similar to the classrooms that we visited. In the second floor so we also have microscopes here which are again one microscope is to one student and but this uh, we, this floor naman is usually used by the first year students for their histology classes so similar than with the pathology lab all the students get their own slide boxes and their own uh, microscopes and are responsible for taking care of those throughout the entire year Grabe. just so loud <laughs> Okay, so our next room naman is the oratory. So 
Um, this is a very important rule, Shemper, for a lot of our students who are Catholics or Christians, and they want a place to be silent and be reflective. So the one that we entered was Lab 2A, I think? 3. <laughs> 3A, sorry. And then, yeah. basically, pare pareho yung mga issue ng lab. For the last part of the third floor, eh, we will enter this room. So, <laughs> Hi, good morning, Quiver. Okay, so, let's go in. So, I guess the first thing that we'll take a look at are the plastinated models. this year uh, para masustain natin yung kakulangan sa cadaver galit pa yan sa Germany Mas totoong body parts to, uh, di ba? Mas ito, totoong body, ah, uh, leg part to ng katao uh Oo, -oh. so as you guys can see this is a uh, left lower extremity aka left leg of, uh, of a person Mas totoo to Dito yung mga heart natin, plastinated na rin Then, nandito yung thumb Damn. Tapos, uh, larynx, tsaka yung kidney Pero marami pa tayong body parts na nandun sa, ano, sa storage natin. Dalawang human body, male tsaka female, nasa storage pa. So yung mga naka-enroll lang yung makakita ng <laughs> yung the rest of, of that. Kasi ito parang pa-preview lang sa atin ni Kuya Ver for now. So next, uh, let's go to the uh, anatomage naman. Yeah. Go, so this is something that we're very excited about. Because we'll be the first students to actually get to use this new technology that is full for us. So, oh my god. It and looks so good. I'm not looking at it yet because I want to see it for the first time and... Oh my god. This is the match. Ah, yes. We're going to do it in September. Of this year? Of this year then. So, may dalawang options siya ata to in presenting. Parang nakahiga, saka nakatayo. So, pwede natin itayo na talaga nakaharap, para siyang TV na nakaharap lang dito sa ano. Pwede rin naman siyang table tab, parang table tablet yung nangyayari. Sige nga kuya, subukan natin. Pwede pa turo naman ng mga settings niya. Ito, makikita niyo naman. Kung gusto niyo nang itaisek siya. Our fingerprints are the first fingerprints to touch this glass thing. Ayun, so na-dissect na pala ni Quiver. So select structure, remove by layer by layer. Wala na yan. Ito, hindi lang ito panganapin. Pwede rin ito ng histo. Histo? Oo. Sa school ha? Ito, first time ko talaga ito makita. Quiver, ikaw na mo ba? Ay, di ba nga yan? Baka naman may label. Squamous epithelium. Ayun! Squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium. Buti na lang yung anatomage may label. Kasi kami nakalimutan na namin. But yeah, this is the anatomage, and in this room, because the anatomage are the plastinated models. So that ends our tour of the third floor of the school. Let's head out and go upstairs. Thank you, Weaver. Yeah, Thank you, Weaver. So now we're gonna go up to the fourth floor, and we will see you guys there. So now we are in the landing of the fourth floor. So guys, we're just about to start now. Ite nyo parang. Kasi yung taas na natin yung mga puno. <laughs> uh, try to show some footage of the, the view later. But for now, this is the fourth floor landing. Again, lots of tables and chairs. Meron ba tayong library dito? And ito muna yung uunahin natin. So, this is the ASMPH library. It's located at the fourth floor of the building. And it actually has two floors. So, there's a fourth floor here. And later, there's a mini staircase going up to the fifth floor. Let's enter. So welcome to the ASMPH library. This was actually uh, newly renovated back in 2019, I think. Huh? I think. So all these tables and chairs, bago yan lahat. Lots of study spaces, lots of uh, reference materials for uh, students to read up on and borrow. You also have uh, a lot of computers. Um, all these computers have access to a lot of um, 
journals and uh, like clinical key, mga ganon. So ASMPH library has got you covered for everything. And so now, quiet lang tayo guys kasi may natutulog na bata. Alam nyo ba, dito sa ASMPH, kami lang yata yung library na may sleeping room. So itong room na to, pasok tayo ha. Ito mo, may essential oils pa tayo dun para medyo relax. Oi, gising! <laughs> um, welcome to the sleeping room, the napping room of uh, the ASMPH library. And actually, this is uh, the favorite room of a lot of students. So. A lot. So there are three chairs and they are all, all fully reclinable. Before, we didn't have this before the renovation. Eh. But I think the admin listened to the students and what they wanted. So thank you, admin, for giving <laughs> us a, a nap room because it really helps us recharge ourselves and listen to the lectures better. So now, uh, we're going to go up to the fifth floor of the library. So let's This is actually the last, the, last, ano, the last floor of school. Na. And part of this floor is the ESMPH. Library. And, whoop, done muna tayo dito sa shelves. You can see so many books. But what I want to show you guys is this. This is, uh, these are meeting rooms, SGD rooms. Call it what you want. We have three of those. So, one here, one in the middle, one all the way there. Sa dulo. <laughs> okay. So, we have here our one of our computer rooms. And as you can see, Maganda yung computers na ginagamit here, and you can use it to write your papers, um, to cram those last minute papers if you want, and you can also use them to access the online resources that the library has. Wow! But wait, there's more! <laughs> what a reveal! <laughs> so, what are computers dito? So, this is a dedicated computer room talaga. For completion's sake, I uh, will just show you the other two um, meeting rooms na lang here. One of them, okay? Almost the same as the other one that we entered kanina. Tapos, ito, corner meeting room. Wow, corner room. Mataas value nito pag nakapagluto. <laughs> Yan. View pa lang, parang alam mo makaano ka na mabuti. Yan, Medical City is right there. Yan. There's another small meeting room in this corner. Apat pala yung meeting room dito sa floor na to. And then to your left, at your right, is the fifth floor foyer. And the fifth floor classroom is in there actually. So, mamaya, pag akit natin ng fifth floor ulit, kapasok tayo sa classroom na yan. Right, And that ends our tour for the ASMPH library. Alright. Titinan naman natin ngayon yung mga room 401s. This is uh, 401B, but uh, we'll take a look at that by going into 401. A. So now we're entering 401A. So as you can see, similar to the other MBA classrooms, there's actually a divider dividing A and B. And the divider is removable then. So you can combine both A and B to form one big classroom. Um, did you ever have any MBA class here, Aja? I did actually 401B and A. So A for Econ and then B for um, health informatics. So, this room, these rooms are very used by all the students. Yeah, so if you guys can remember the room 301, 302 in, in the third floor, um, 401A and 401B are also heavily uh, used as uh, MBA classrooms. So, for me, that's actually human resources and operations management. And you know, Gio, what's so great about these rooms, talaga? Since they're all very multifunctional, sobrang nagagamit siya by students for any occasion that they want. So, a lot of students here are actually part of different organizations. Which, That's true. You know, um, actually emphasize the different talents that the students have in medical school. And one special group of people that we have is Pugad Aguila, which is the board operations part of the Ateneo School of Medicine. So, Pugad Aguila, you'll learn more about Pugad Aguila when you enter Ateneo and you'll keep hearing about it. But basically, it's our uh, it's a group of people which helps to boost the community aspect of being in the Ateneo School of Medicine. Yeah. Then, no Atenean left behind, we always, always, always look out for each other, whatever batch, kahit graduate na. Diba? So now we are again at the posterior aspect of the building. Posterior aspect <laughs> of the building. I can't not say it. I've been saying it, I think, every floor. So again, dito yung restrooms. 
So, papasok kami ngayon dito kasi kailangan namin mag-change. Before we get changed, let's show them what's so special about the restroom on this floor. Sana, oh wow, nakakon. Medyo naingay lang kasi yung exhaust. We actually have a shower. Ayan. There's a shower here. There's also a shower in the girls' restroom because since it's right beside the anatomy lab nga naman, uh, you wouldn't want to be dirty when you leave school. So a lot of people shower after after their anatomy lab session. So, sige Adja, magpapalit ka na dyan. Yeah. Palit ako dito sa kabila. Bye. See you! Ait, ait, ait! Hell, in scrubs. That's right. We're ready for our next room, which is the anatomy lab. So this whole complex here, parang filled with people in scrubs during anatomy lab. Yan. Si tong area nato mga lockers uh, to store your extra gloves, mm -hmm. your extra masks. Yeah, we've been wearing masks before they were needed. Um, yung mga dissecting kit, yung mga ganon. And the grand reveal. Here it goes. Extremity bones, okay. Right. okay. Uh, pelvis bones, uh -huh. and lower extremity bones. This is the, I think it's the femur. Yes, and you know it's a femur because of the ball and socket joint. Wow. Well, in fairness, <laughs> may naalala pa si Gio. Speaking of anatomy classes, the younger batches actually have a different approach to learning anatomy. So it involves not just um, what we did, which is mostly dissecting and using these um, bone specimens, but they actually rotate between um, osteology, which is the study of the bones, uh, dissection, histology, radiology. So everyone is um, spread out through the different aspects of anatomy. Mm -hmm. So some of the undergraduate is on physical therapy. There's yeah. a moving exam, din kayo, pero dito sa anatomy, you go to that station, you take a look at what structure is uh, pinned. Try to identify. Try to identify, or sometimes it's multiple choice, <laughs> depending yeah. on the problem. Yeah, that was a yeah, moving exam. But this is the anatomy lab. Huge space, memorable smell. <laughs> that ends our tour of the fourth floor. One last floor to go. That's the fifth floor, and we will see you in the staircase. This is the fifth floor. To commemorate our freshy days. Yeah, we have a lot of uniform. We both of us, we have a lot of fun memories here. We had to do like music videos, skits, um, different, all types of performance art that you can imagine. Yeah, that's why they uh, joke around at the Nea School of Medicine and... Uh, performing arts. Performing arts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's enter the fifth floor classroom. <laughs> Let's talk about the events that they hold yeah. and that they hold here in this classroom was the biggest, no? That's true. So the freshman orientation, some parts of the orientation seminar for the first years, also the Pugat Aguila send-off and the Pugat Aguila launch. Whenever there's an event, we actually decorate this room super well, like with so much effort. You can see like there's things hanging from the ceiling, there's lighting and everything. That's one of the things that really makes the fifth floor classroom special. Oh, nga pala. May isang bonus pa dito sa classroom na to, and the other classrooms don't have, and that is it has its own restroom. Yes, pasok tayo. So welcome to the main restroom of the fifth floor classroom. So this is actually Gio's favorite nap area. Thank right, you. <laughs> yes, I have napped here at least once in my in my med school life. So sometimes when you're feeling a little bit sleepy. Maybe you can wash your face here to wake yourself up. We're actually not gonna go back out through there, but through the emergency exit down here. 
and exit only. Female restroom nga pala. If you guys can piece it together, di ba? Ito yung anatomy lab. Itong wall na to, this area. Ito yung lockers. Ito yung anatomy lab where we changed into scrubs kanina. Yeah, that's that. That's that. So now, for the last part of the tour, we're heading down to the parking lot. And we're gonna explain why we think it's the most important part of school. Not just for logistical and practical reasons. We're gonna see you on the ground floor. Costume change again. Shempre, we want to make sure that we're accurately representing all of the types of uniforms that you get to see yeah. the people wear in the Ateneo School of Medicine. Exactly. So ito, we are in our uh, clerk uniform already. So we actually saw a glimpse of this earlier when we were touring the cafeteria. Area. We did. Okay. This ito yung drop off ng posterior receiving area na sinasabi ko kanina. And wow, what a beautiful afternoon! This is the ASMPH parking area. Do you recall how many parking slots there are, Aja? There are a total of 86 parking slots with 14 to 16 reserved slots per batch. And not counting pa doon yung reserved slots for carpool. Yes, so, yan, carpool yan. Mga madalas mag, ano, mag carpool. Yung mga those living in the same condos. So, for example, you, ha you guys have a car. I'm sign up na kayo ng park yan ng ano ng carpool para may reserve parking slot na kayo. But if you don't have a car naman and you live in this area, well, you can either walk because ASMPH is actually very accessible. Mm -hmm. Safe sidewalks, mm -hmm. foot bridges, so a lot of people walk there, so there's not a lot of things to be scared about naman when you're walking to and from school. You don't think you're fit enough to be walking to school in the morning. Oh, there are also public transportation that yes. pass by the school. So, mga UV Express, uh -huh. so, Somewhere in front of Meralco, may mga UV Express areas doon. Mm -hmm. You get down here in the MFI, walk into school. Yeah. So, it's actually really convenient. Since it's the biggest area here in our school, a lot of the biggest events actually happen here on the park. Yes, and this is why we we think it's actually the most uh, important part of school symbolically and with that we say na you actually start and end your medical journey here in Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health and why is that? So the parking lot is actually the venue for ORSEM, the orientation seminar which is a big event hosted by the batch above you, your senior batch and they host it to welcome the freshmen into the school. And at the end, when you finish your, when you finally pass your boards, this is also where we have Blue Toast, which is the capstone event of the Pugan Aguila Board Ops. And that's where we celebrate our board takers finally passing the boards and becoming full-fledged Athenian doctors. There's a lot of sentimental value attached to this parking lot, although it looks like just a normal parking lot. Let's go there. And this brings us back to our uh, starting, point. starting point of this tour again here in the at the tip at the front of school so thank you guys for watching we hope that you really enjoyed this video and that it was able to help you out uh, picture uh, ASMPH in a way that you probably have never seen before so this was uh, an exclusive talaga tour na walang tao dito sa school so we were able to do all of these things uh, with the admin's permission actually so thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we get to see you guys in the future malay mo diba as wild five students as wild five students that ends the tour again i am Gio Ilagan and i'm Adam Dow maraming salamat and peace, peace.